The White House will host a second round of talks this afternoon to raise the debt ceiling. And Ukraine says it shot down six missiles overnight that Russian President Vladimir Putin previously called unstoppable. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. President Biden will be meeting with congressional leaders this afternoon at the White House. They'll talk about raising the debt ceiling. NPR's Asma Khalid reports this will be the second such meeting at the White House in a week aimed at reaching an agreement to avoid a default. The White House and Republicans have been at a standoff over raising the debt ceiling. Republicans have been demanding major spending cuts. The White House says the obligations to pay down existing debt is a separate issue from the budget. A source familiar with the discussions says potential areas of common ground could include things like permitting reform. But the two sides remain far apart on other issues, such as new work requirements for Medicaid and food assistance. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen issued a letter yesterday reiterating the urgent need for Congress to raise the debt ceiling, or the government could default on its debt as early as June 1st. Asma Khalid, NPR News. There's a primary election today in Pennsylvania. Democrats have control of the state house by one vote, and they'll learn today if they will keep it after the results come in from a special house election. Meanwhile, voters in Philadelphia are choosing candidates for their mayoral primary election. From member station WHYY, Corey Sharber has more on the neck-and-neck race. Registered Democrats in Philly outnumber Republicans 7-1, to one, so today's Democratic primary winner is expected to earn the city's top spot. The candidates include former city council members, a former city controller, a state representative, and a grocery store magnate. Philadelphia's next mayor could also be the first woman to hold the position, with the three female candidates leading in the latest polls. Just 27% of registered voters cast a ballot last time there was a competitive mayoral primary. If that happens, the winner could be decided by as few as 2,000 votes. For NPR News, I'm Corey Sharber in Philadelphia. Ukraine says it shot down six of Russia's most advanced missiles during overnight bombing. The attack was described as exceptional in its density. Russian President Vladimir Putin had called the Kinjal missiles unstoppable. Ukraine's military says that its air force has achieved an unbelievable success. The BBC's Hugo Bachega reports the timing of the attack is significant. These latest attacks happened just hours after President Zelensky finished this European tour. He received the promise that billions of dollars of military aid would be provided to Ukraine. And uh, this happens as Ukraine says it's finishing plans for a much anticipated counteroffensive against Russian forces. And many believe that these attacks are likely to not only continue but perhaps intensify because this could be the way Russia is planning to respond. The BBC's Hugo Bachega reporting. It's NPR.